Hey y'all, it's Anime Gaming, and today I'm gonna be reviewing episode 65 of Gekage no Gitaro. And I gotta say, this episode was actually pretty nice going in. Just off of like the animation quality, we got in a few of these shots. I was thinking, eh, this might be one of the weaker Gekage no Gitaro episodes. But then I like how my impression of what we were gonna get was completely changed because. Once we started getting in some of the hammy dialogue, like when, and I mean hammy in a good way, like when Sho, Shoji, Cat Chick's uncle, saying shit like he likes the jokes of the governor, and that's the reason why he was able to notice that he's probably um, an imposter. And I like how during those sequences you have Guitaro, Cat Chick, and Mana not really believing from the get from the start until the Yoka Miyabe show, Miyabo shows up and then puts Kitaro and Cat Chick under hypnosis. Like stuff like that really made the episode lively because it's set itself up for a lot of unique situations. Because for one, what I like about this episode was it wasn't Cat Chick, Kitaro, or even Mana that resolved the situation. It was actually Shoji, Mana's uncle had actually resolved this situation and that's what really made this episode pretty damn fucking good. And let me explain why. The reason why it made this episode good was because it was unexpected and it led to a lot of hilarious situations because near the end, when it comes time for Miyabo about to concoct this plan where he was going to get like this, so liquid and he was gonna spread it through the world because he wants the town that he lives in Tatori to like prosper and get more people but he's going about it the wrong way because he wants to do it to, through hypnosis and then you have Shoji trying to explain things like it really isn't legit if you can't do it through through normal means and what I like about this is when you see this yokai try to escape I like how it, Mana throws something at his hand and then the serum falls on, on Sho Shoji. And then I like how it built a pension by having like the back beard theme out of nowhere. And that's what makes this episode so good because you have great musical placement to make a scene that's funny, even more funnier because it's like, oh God. <laughs> this just makes it feel epic and hilarious at the same time and I like how it sets up where Shoji out of fucking nowhere he drinks the serum by accident gets muscles kicks the ass of Miyabo and then the situations resolve and then Iomano's like what was that and then the Shoji's like I don't even know <laughs> and that and stuff like that was what really made this episode really lively because it made it hilarious it was unexpected and all the voice actors and actresses were having hell of a fun time and you can tell Toei had a fun time too, just drawing like the muscles and all of that. So things like that really made this episode lively. And that was another good element about this episode. It resolved things in a unique way. And since Shoji was shown throughout this episode, it actually made it feel like it was an ending actually earned. So this is really good in regards to this episode. And aside from that, I also like how during this episode you had unexpected hilarious sequences like Gitaro when they're explaining like how it's you kind of have to eat pears when you're in Tatori. I like how first you see Gitaro disinterested and then they have this humorous scene where he's like eats a pear and then all of a sudden he's like delicious. And what makes that scene work is because you have Gitaro from completely not giving a shit to him actually enjoying the food there. And that, I think that worked humor wise because it was something that I didn't see coming. So things like that really made this episode work. The humor worked because it built your expectations towards something, but then it actually gave you something else. And that's what made it good. So that's how I felt from a story standpoint, it was good. And the yokai in this episode was Nick, because Miyabo, his goals weren't really anything negative. I mean, I guess you could say he wanted to put the whole world into hypnosis, but he wanted to build the population of the Tori so that it would be rival the populations of the biggest cities in the world, like New York. So he had good intentions, just it was the wrong means of doing it. 
And that's also what made this episode pretty good, too. Because it wasn't a yokai that's like, oh man, I want to take over the world. And don't get me wrong, I love yokais like that. No. It was a yokai that just wanted to help the place that he lived at through his own weird means. And that's what really made it work. And it made him a pretty nice character to watch, too. Especially when, after he got his ass kicked, he learned from Shoji that mm, the love, that pretty much it's better to love something through your own free will than through hypnosis. So that was a cool thing, too. And I like how it gave Miyabo some character development, too, as the antagonist Yoka that was in the specific episode, too. And then seeing him at the end, like, just... Um, lift peacefully at the toady and all that it was pretty nice. So that was cool too, and it wasn't expected to see a development arc for a um, for an antagonistic yokai. At least at the start, he's not anti anti antagonistic anymore. But that was cool. So that was another cool element about this episode. And Shoji, it was a cool element to see some of his quirks, like him being a fan of Niozama's jokes and writing them down. And then seeing his other quirks, like, say, his love for Totori. So that was also another cool thing about this episode. Because while we didn't get character development for any of our main cast, we didn't need it. Because this was Totori's and Miyabo's episode. And it really, really helped out because these two characters were hilarious. So that's why I thought, from a character standpoint, this episode also did great. And while the animation wasn't the strongest, at least it looked good when it mattered. Like, when you see the muscles of Shioji bulging out... And when he did like this beam attack, it looked good. Or when Shoji was helping Mana dodge one of the attacks from Miyabo, it looked good too. So when the animation needed to pop, it did. And that's why... Oh, and the voice performance is great too. And that's why I'm going to rate this episode an 8 out of 10. Because it was pretty darn good. So anyways, guys and gals. These are my thoughts on Gekkei no Gitaro episode 65. I feel it's an 8 out of 10 episode and I feel it's good. So anyways, everyone, comment down your thoughts in the costume below, rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Alright, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.